morning, the U.S. Senate Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation will come to order. Uh, we're here today uh, to uh, consider the nomination of Gigi Son to be Commissioner of the Federal Communications Commission. Uh, Ms. Son, thank you for appearing again before the committee and for your to continued commitment to serve. Uh, many members will remember that Ms. Son has already appeared before the committee and she has graciously come back to answer questions and communicate with members. I think it shows the kind of transparent and open process that she would have as commissioner of the FCC. It's a, a step that most people probably wouldn't do, but I think it speaks highly of her and the way that she believes in conducting herself. So thank you, Ms. Son, very much for that. Um, I want to also uh, thank uh, uh, members for, again, trying to address these issues. The Federal Communications <coughs> Commission is a very important organization, and we all know that there are important issues there that affect the daily lives of many people. For example, the commission is trying to be more aggressive about unwanted robocalls and text messaging and the laws that companies uh, should be complying with to report data breaches earlier so consumers know in real time about the threat of their personal information. The pandemic has demonstrated how essential broadband is in the 21st century economy and the importance of the FCC's COVID-19 telehealth program, emergency broadband connectivity, and the fund to keep people connected to their doctors. The FCC is critical to make, making sure that funding in the COVID relief law gets to schools and libraries and children, and ranking member Wicker and I have also been focused on getting our broadband mapping updated. So we really have no time to waste. No time to waste in an information age of getting an FCC commissioner to help us on these issues of high quality internet services to rural communities, to getting access to millions of Americans, to updating our broadband maps, and the legislation that was passed in the bipartisan infrastructure bill. With Ms. Son, we couldn't have a more qualified person. 30 years of experience working on telecommunications policy, including senior advisor to Chairman Wheeler at the FCC. She's a prominent voice in the telecommunications arena, leading the charge on accessible and affordable broadband, consumer protection, and competition. She has demonstrated a track record of convening a broad range of stakeholders from both sides of the aisle to achieve these goals. As a founder and leader of a nonprofit organization, she has shepherded a new era of advocacy of telecommunications policy in the information age and has been in the middle of every major debate that has transpired in the shaping of the regulatory framework on these important policy issues. So Ms. Son's nomination, I also believe, is historic, being the first openly gay commissioner on the FCC, another milestone and a diversity that is so important, I think, in inclusion in talking about issues. Ms. Son's nomination has been lauded by many individual groups on both sides of the aisle. She's supported by more than 200 organizations and people across the political spectrum, including advocates for the deaf, library associations, civil rights, community media, workers' rights, consumer advocacy, companies, and trade associations. Her appeal is also bipartisan, including members of conservative media organizations and legislators from in various states across the United States. I know I've heard from people in my state legislature, so I'm not surprised if other members here have also heard from them as well. Ms. Son would be the first to tell you she does have opinions, and you have strong beliefs and have been fighting for them over the decades. Many people who seek these jobs also have strong opinions, and I've been uh, one who's had to vote for many people where I might have disagreed with their opinions or some statement that they made while serving in a different capacity. Ms. Son will lend her decades-long expertise to important issues and the guidance that the FCC needs to tackle in these issues. I am sure the process of her, uh, I, we have been very accommodating on the, uh, working with our colleagues on the other side of the aisle. Our colleagues asked for more time before Ms. Son's original hearing. We granted that. Uh, members asked for this hearing. Um, and I would just say to individuals, I know that many of you uh, uh, either did not meet with Ms. Son or uh, uh, maybe in the QFRs had questions. And so that's why we're here today to answer those questions. And so I uh, appreciate, again, her willingness. Um, and on an additional note, our outpouring of love at the last hearing to Senator Lujan, I got a text from him 
yesterday, and he said he very much looks forward to rejoining us and sends his love back to the committee. So with that, I'll turn it over to the ranking member.